What's good, YouTube? This that boy Kobe, Mr. Bang Bang. If y'all didn't know, yeah. But um, I got a tutorial for y'all. It's called well, I don't know what the fuck it's called, but all I know is you're replacing signs and logos in the game with your text or logos. That's pretty much what, what I'ma call it. Yeah, straightforward. But um, yeah. Just to let y'all know, I'm a teacher for editor school now. Yeah, they restarted, so go check them out if y'all didn't. Got to help y'all learn some more about editing. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to be in After Effects CS6. That's what we're working in. If you ain't got it, go get it, because I don't know what you're doing. So, anyway, drag your cinematic in here and uh, motion track it, you know, with the tracker and, you know, CS6. If you don't know how to motion track, then you need to stop this video and go watch a tutorial on how to motion track. Then come back to this video. All right. So now we pretty much after you done motion track and what we're gonna do is right click and create another camera on both of the sides because you know that's what we're gonna have it on both of the sides. Bang. Okay, there you go. Now what you wanna do is duplicate this the um second clip and I should have restarted my computer because it's lagging right now. Anyways, delete that one. Then what you wanna do is go to the um pre compose this layer. Precompose, bitch. Okay, there we go. And um, go right click, go to time, freeze frame, cause we want this not to be moving. Yeah. So now, what you wanna do is grab this rectangular tool next to the pen tool. Um, you know, zoom in, scoot over, and try to find a point where it's pretty much blank and there's no text or anything on there. You know. So what you wanna do is just drag out and highlight this little area right here. Boom right there you got it probably saying what the hell is this yeah you about to see so make sure you hit 3d make sure this is 3d if you ain't got this up here hit toggle switches and then bring it up there so yeah so what you want to do is come to the first null that we made see right there hit p hit control c on there come down to the clip and hit p and just paste the um uh, Paste, paste and on control V. You're going to paste this position to that position. So pretty much it's track now. And what you want to do is fuck you. Anyways, what you what you want to do is just drag this uh the second clip, the blue clip over. Well, I should, it's not really going to dog, I swear to God. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's clicking off. But anyways, what you're going to do is hit S and click this bobby pin safety pin looking ass thing right here and that that way we could just control them evenly and what you want to do is just drag out you know just scale it up you know even it up for some reason i don't know why it does that every time i scale it up and just yeah yeah it's about good enough and do the other one drag up the other one too till you get it to where you want it or how you want it yeah, that's a little bit too much for me. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, now just you know, just zoom in, and just you know, fix the uh, fix the points. You know, just dra drag drag it under there, under the line. Pretty much or where you want it, because I want that arrow to be showing. So that's what I'm gonna do. Damn. Was, I mean, it's a tutorial. I mean, I know you go, you gotta take your time on this. But now, what you wanna do is hit F, so you can burn the feather, and hit it about five. Yeah, about five should be good enough. Let's see. Yep, it's good enough. Now you can't even tell. Can't even tell. See that easy. And now, what you want, what you wanna do is, you know, grab your text. And just type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna type that in. Bang. Type my name in. Now what you wanna do is just drag it on there and make sure click 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 the um uh, 3D box that one stutter. Durr. <laughs> yeah, just click the 3D box and what you wanna do is the same thing. Control C on the position of the first nub. Hit P on P on your name or your text and just paste it. And there you go. What you want to do is, you know, scale it up or whatever. This is just scale it up. Scale it up. You know, drag it over. Position it right. 
just make sure you, you just don't put it behind it. And uh, what you could do is, I mean, it's pretty much, we're pretty much almost done. And what you want to do is grab you some text shadow. I got a little preset right here. Uh, not really a preset, but yeah. Um, what I do is normally I just turn the softness all the way up. Not that far. And just turn the opacity way down. And yeah. And you should get this. Bang. I hate when my shit lag though. But uh, okay. So now we're going to start on the second one. And uh, what you're going to do is, you know, you could use this one too, but I'd rather not. Cause I don't feel like doing this again, but duplicate it. Duplicate. Okay. Delete it. Just, you know, repeat, repeat the same process over. Pre-compose this shit. Bong. Come on, bitch, pre-compose. And now, you know, do the same thing again. Freeze frame it. Bang. Get your rectangular tool. And, um, yeah. Drag out. Try to find a point that's empty. And, um, yeah. So, zoom out. Um, make sure 3D once again. And for the second one, because we made the second uh, on this one, hit P for that one. Control C and go over to the second one. Oh, okay, yeah. And hit P. There you go. Once again, scale it out. Hit the fake ass bobby pin or safety pin shit. <laughs> and just scale it out. Think that should be good enough. Oh, shit. Okay, just drag it up. And drag it over. Okay, bang. And once again, hit F for the feather. Change that to about five. And yeah, there you go. And for this one, just uh, I don't have a logo. And I don't feel like searching for one. So I'm just going to put some more text right here. Um, yeah. Okay, so got that done. Make sure this text is 3D once again. And then just, you know, do the same thing again. Copy. And then hit P and paste it once again scale it up to how you want it oh my fucking god if I do this one more time I get to snap oh, I'm already snapping <laughs> rage I'm raging on a tutorial <laughs> anyways you got it right there and all you want to do is come back to your text layer copy this drop shadow and then control C and then control V on it. Bong. And pretty much, yeah, you got it now. And this is how you pretty much replace logos or signs in the game with your own logos and text or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this is pretty much. And after that, you know, you just pre-compose all of it after you're done with it. Pre-compose. You know, you could, you know, y'all could do a lot better job than what I'm doing. I'm just showing y'all the basic of it. And, you know, I just throw some aftershake because that's what I don't use wiggle. I like to use aftershake. I don't know why, but I just hate working with expressions because I forget and shit. But, uh, you know, I should scale the clip in too. Let's scale it in. What? 103. Okay, yeah. So anyways, yeah, that's how you do it. You got your little wiggle on it now and all that. You know, put your little sexy color correction if I can find that. Control C. Control V. Now, there you go. You got your little sexy color correction. You got your motion track signs now. And yeah, that's pretty much how you could, uh, well, how you do it. You, you know, you could just change it up and just, you know, put whatever you want. You know, make yours look a lot better than how I did it. Because, you know, this is an example. But other than that, this has been your boy, Kobe, Mr. Bang Bang. Like the video, comment, subscribe. And if you got any suggestions on tutorials you see in a montage, I mean, not tutorial, <laughs> effects you see in the montage, yeah, just let me know. You know, I'll do it for you or I'll try to remake it if I know how to do it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll catch y'all later.